All right. Well, hey, hey hello. Uh, <clears throat> good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first off, before I, I get going and talk a little bit more about the class, I uh, just thought I'd uh, let you know, especially uh, especially Padres fans, uh, uh, I hope you guys didn't get the, uh, too mad at me yesterday because of my Dodgers uh, shirt. So I went ahead and went for the uh, – uh, let me get a better pe a look there. Uh, I went ahead and went for the uh, for the old school uh, Tigers look. Yeah, unfortunately, having a bit of a tough season. They got off to such a, a great start, but they've been a staggering ever since. And the Verlander has been on the shelf, and uh, uh, Price is no longer with 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 the team. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a far cry from the uh, all the uh, all the great pitching they had in just uh, the recent years. Uh, Doug Fister gone, uh, Max Scherzer Scherzer gone. Uh, but I guess, it's, I guess it's about bound to happen when you don't have a good a relief pitching. You don't get far in the playoffs, as we saw what happened uh, in the uh, last few playoffs, especially the uh, uh, the uh, championship against the against the Red Sox, where the bullpen just imploded. So uh, let's see if the boys from Motown can get their act back together and uh, b bounce back uh, next uh, next season and, and take on take on the Royals. All right. Well, listen, everybody. I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about <clears throat> about the class itself. I'm going to go over all the key points uh, for, uh, in, in the class, in the course menu, starting from announcements all the way to the uh, Grossmont LRC database section. So what I'm doing is I'm recording right here with, with my old uh, MacBook, which I've had for about six, seven years, still still works pretty well. And then, uh, and then I'm watching, uh, the, uh, watching the class. I've got Blackboard queued up on my uh, new iMac. Uh, so uh, don't mind me if I'm if I'm looking constantly to uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to to my right. I'm just looking at the monitor here where the uh, where the class is located. So like I said in the in the announcements, uh, if you happen to uh, if you're using a uh, if you use a laptop or or a desktop for for the class mainly, uh, uh, go ahead and, and go ahead and open up a, a second window in which uh, in which uh, you can see me on uh, on on YouTube. Uh, and then and then have the class on a separate window. So without further ado, everybody, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about what the class is all about. I'll go over a lot of the key due dates and any other important elements that, that's necessary I'll mention as well. All right, uh, when you get into the class, the first thing you'll see will be the announcements. So announcements will be on a regular basis. At least three times a week, there will be announcements, for sure on Mondays and on Fridays, Fridays especially because that's when I'm going to open up the quizzes. And we're going to start up with quizzes already this this first week, so I'll talk more about that in just a second here. So, um, so there'll always be something on Monday and on Friday, and then sometime during the middle part of, of the week, most likely on most likely on on Wednesdays. Uh, but sometimes the, I might have an announcement on Tuesday, might be on Thursday. So you might say the middle announcement of the week is sort of a floating around between the uh, between Tuesday through Thursday. So just uh, keep an eye on that. Basically, look. Don't watch the class every day. Um, uh, make sure you make sure you check in at least once a day to see if there's any anything new in terms of announcements. But for sure, every Monday and every Friday there will be announcements. Sometimes there might be weekend announcements, but that won't really happen until toward the end of the semester when we get toward the uh, close toward the finals week. So at that time there will be more weekend announcements, especially as we start wrapping the class up. But for the uh, for the vast majority, for the bulk of the semester. Uh, there will be announcements Mondays, Fridays, and, and a floating one, uh, most likely Wednesdays, but sometimes there might be one on Tuesday and Thursday. All right, let me go ahead and open up the uh, syllabus and schedule here. Okay, and the, uh, the, the Blackboard connection seems a little bit slow this morning. Uh, here, here we go. All right, so uh, there is, uh, I'll just quickly go over uh, many of the, of, the, of, the, uh, of the key elements here. I'm not going to go over everything point by point. You can definitely do that on your own time. Uh, but there's information about the class right here. And, of course, you see El Profesor definitely in Washington, D.C. It's not a Las Vegas hotel designed to look like D.C. That, that actually is D.C. when I was there. Uh, almost two years ago for, for a conference, uh, uh, me and Dr. Contreras, my colleague in the history department, we, we were there at the Library of Congress for uh, part of a three-year program that we were involved in, in, in uh, and that, of course, was uh, uh, the, uh, DC, the, the uh, D.C. portion. It was in January, right after that, that infamous uh, polar vortex of the winter of, uh, of 13 of, uh, 13 of 14. And I had some adventures getting, getting to D.C. Maybe I'll talk a little bit about that in a future, uh, future video. Okay, course goals are, are the learning outcomes that we'll definitely be, uh, we'll try to uh, analyze and dissect. Course prerequisites, obviously, um, obviously, I think the days of DSL are probably uh, long gone or, or going away. So 
Make sure, you, of course, you've got a, a good cable or Wi-Fi connection so you can uh, log into the class. And the text materials, just one book that we're going to be using this semester, everybody. Make sure you get the copy of uh, Kubo's America, Volume 2, which covers everything from the uh, end of the Civil War through to the uh, uh, age of, uh, uh, age, of uh, uh, age of terrorism. 9-11 is covered in here and the opening days of the Barack Obama administration. But basically everything here from uh, the end of the Civil War all the way through the days of uh, Bill Clinton and George W. Bush, that's all covered here in Hoop of America. So don't get any other textbooks. This is the only thing we'll be using. So if you don't have a copy, make sure you get one immediately because you already have some reading to work on for this week. All right. Um, scrolling down a little, little bit more, let me quickly go over the, announce the assignments and, and assessments here. Um, okay, you've got a book review assignment in which you choose a book uh, from, uh, from the context of the class and make sure that your book is listed in one of the uh, chapters in Who Built America because at the end of each chapter is a list of suggested readings. Uh, in those suggested readings, no matter which chapter you choose from the uh, opening chapters to the uh, end of, of, the, uh, of the book, we'll get into uh, uh, people like uh, Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, uh, Bill Clinton, and George W. Bush. Uh, just choose a, a book from any of the suggested readings in any of the chapters. Let me know which one you're going to, you're going to be working on, and go ahead and get and get going get going on, on it. Um, I don't think there's going. I'm going to make a preview video about about that. It's fairly self-explanatory, so I'll of course keep giving you more and more reminders. And what I'll do is uh, uh, at, um, either at the end of the week or beginning of the week, I'll give you some suggestions or I'll, I'll, I'll highlight a couple of books from the suggested readings that I'll indicate might be good to check out. So I'll say, hey, everybody, from chapter uh, chapter 4, check this book out. From chapter 10, check this book out. So I'll make it a point to make that a regular make regular feature for the rest of the session. All right, the EBSCO article review assignment. This is going to be due in uh, in mid uh, in mid November, right before I think uh, right before Thanksgiving. What you're to do is to uh, choose an article from the uh, uh, EBSCO database, which is available on the Grossmont College website, Grossmont College Library website. And uh, this is a, a topic within the scope of the class. Uh, it doesn't uh, uh, anything from the uh, end of the Civil War uh, through to through to modern times. Um, and what I will do for you is I'll have this for you probably beginning of next week. I will have a uh, uh, I'll have a preview video. It'll be a video that I that I recorded for the spring semester. I've got several good, uh, several of these uh, nuts and bolts videos that I recorded in the spring semester. So even though the dates might be a bit different, in which in the videos I say, don't forget everybody, this thing is due on uh, on on April 30th. It's due on on May 10th. Blah blah blah. Just disregard the due dates that I mentioned on the videos, but pay attention to the structure of the assignments, uh, the articles that you, you can use, the journals you can use, essentially how to construct these. So pay attention to that in the videos, but just disregard the dates because, as I mentioned, many of these how-to videos, these nuts and bolts videos that I'll give, that I'll present to you within the next couple of weeks, will be ones that I recorded back in, back in the spring semester. So just be aware of that as we uh, can press forward in the semester. So I'll have that video ready for you sometime next week, probably at the, at the beginning of, of next week. Okay, one of the other assignments that we'll be working on is the popular culture, and we're going to spend a lot of time focusing in on, I, I would say, the quintessential musical form for the country, and that, of course, is American jazz. And we're going to watch every episode that Ken Burns made of his of this epic PBS series, which came out in, in which came out in uh, in 2000. So even though the series now is starting to get a little, little bit dated, much like his epic Civil War series back 25 years ago, the information still holds up quite quite nicely. A lot of good interviews with uh, with some artists who've actually passed away in the past few years. So uh, so popular jazz uh, icons, artists such as uh, Jackie McLean, and also of course the legendary Dave Brubeck, uh, uh, they've long since pa passed away. Went after the uh, series was uh, was released. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be watching every episode of the Ken Burns series. We're going to start that up right about the fourth week of, of the semester. We'll go from episode one all the way to episode 10. Uh, I'll have uh, a lot of these, all these programs will be covered in, in, in quizzes. I will have study questions for you about each episode. And uh, at the end, as we finish, as, as we wrap up watching all these episodes, what you're going to do for this assignment is Choose two episodes from uh, from episodes one through ten. Choose to compare and contrast many of the themes, the topics, the ideas, 
uh, the musical styles, the, the, the artist, uh, and, and write a comparative essay about the two episodes. I will have another uh, uh, another nuts and bolts uh, preview video of, about this, so I'll try to get so I'll have this one uh, for you. If not next week, then the week after that. So within the next uh, within for sure the first three weeks of the semester, I'll have more information about how this assignment works. And I've got preview videos which I recorded back in the spring about key elements of, of these episodes. I'll have those for you uh, as, as well. Uh, once we get started with with watching this, so uh, so again, this is the, your other your other main writing assignment after the uh, book review and the EBSCO article review. You've got the jazz assignment. This is going to be due uh, right right before Thanksgiving, actually, on Monday, November twenty third, because Thanksgiving this uh, this year falls on the twenty sixth. So before the Thanksgiving vacation, uh, tur 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 turn this in, and this thing will be worth fifteen percent of of your class grade. A lot of the writing assignments. Uh, in fact, uh, all, uh, all three main writing assignments are worth 50% of your class grade. So the totality of those three makes up 45% of your class grade. Now, the one thing that you will have that you work on right off the bat is something called the uh, History Podcast Journal. What this is, is every week starting this week, watch episodes or listen to, to podcasts from a professor who is based out of Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. His name is uh, Richard Moss, and he has an excellent podcast series in which he covers modern U.S. history, which, which we're doing, and early U.S. history, which the History 108 class is doing. So you have to go into iTunes to uh, listen to Professor Moss's, uh, uh, Professor Moss's lectures. Now, these are free downloads. You don't have to worry about paying anything, so it's not like you're paying anything to get the latest from uh, Rihanna, from Beyonce, or if you're rock and roll guys, you're uh, paying to get stuff from uh, ACDC, Led Zeppelin, uh, 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 anything like that. No, these, these, these are free downloads, and I'm going to have a preview video for this uh, about this assignment uh, this week. In fact, uh, uh, tomorrow, coming up on Wednesday, I'll go ahead and give you the uh, preview video about, about your podcast journal uh, entries. This will be a video that I recorded for the spring semester, so I'll have that ready for you coming up tomorrow. There will be more details in terms of what to do, but the key point you, should, you have to keep in mind is that you've got to go to iTunes to uh, listen to these. So make sure you have iTunes somewhere on your computer, on your on your tablet. Um, if you don't have it, then down, download it. Or uh, if you know a friend who's a big so if you're a PC guy and you hate Macs, just go just talk to one, one of your friends. Uh, maybe he or she is a big Mac person. So uh, so check out the, the podcast from his or her computer. This way you don't miss out on this assignment. There's going to be 17 entries you have to make. You have to make each each week. You have to go into the uh, journal section, the, the, uh, the journal section, in order to write your entries. Don't turn in anything. I don't want you to send in any uh, PDF or, uh, or pages or Word documents. No. Uh, for this one, you write directly into Blackboard in the journal section, and I'll show you that. Uh, I'll, I'll backtrack to that in just a bit after I finish talking about the syllabus here. So the totality of your entries will make up 100 points, and these 100 points will make up 10% of your class grade. Okay, uh, the last two things in terms of uh, art of assignments and assessment is, of course, the quizzes and the final exam. Quizzes will be on a regular basis uh, starting after this week. I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, two quizzes for you. One is called the Prologue Quiz, which is a practice quiz, which covers the uh, prologue of the Who Built America text. So it's basically to uh, you get a sense of what my, my quizzes are all about. It's not going to count, but quiz one will count. Quiz one will cover the period, uh, the, the opening chapter of Who Built America in terms of what happens after the U.S. Civil War, the aftermath, the political aftermath, the uh, economic, the social aftermath, of course, the, the era of Reconstruction. So that's going to be the domain of, chap of the uh, first quiz, and, uh, and we're, there's going to be weekly quizzes. Each quiz will be on a uh, Friday to Friday time. So what that means is that I opened up one quiz on Friday, and then the following Friday, that's when the quiz closes. So uh, anytime within that, within that week, uh, uh, take take the quiz, and when you take the quiz, you have a timer. You have a uh, uh, you have a two and a half two and a half hour timer in which to take the quiz. So when you start the quiz, give yourself two and a half hours to finish it. Now keep in mind, everybody, the timer does not stop when you start a quiz. So if you're uh, uh, so if you're taking the quiz. Uh, Let's say you start at May on, a, on, 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 on 4 p.m. On, 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 a, on a Tuesday, and then you go, you go in, so it's 5, 5 p.m., and you say, oh, the, the evening news is on, eyewitness news is on, I'm going to watch that, and then, then I'll come back to the quiz after the news is over. 
Um, so you watch it, so you stop the quiz, you watch the news, you come back at six to uh, finish up the quiz, but guess what? You've already lost two hours. In that time you're watching the news, the timer kept going. So when you go back to your quiz, you only have a half hour left in which to finish the quiz. So be aware of that, everybody. The timer does not stop on any of the quiz. If you want to take a break, keep it to no more than five, ten minutes maximum. Maybe stretch it to 15, but no more beyond that. Get back to your quiz right away and continue because, like I said, uh, this, this isn't the case where you can pause the quiz and come back to it and, and, and you, still, you still have time. No, that's not, not, not the way it works for, for this class. So make sure you reserve a two and a half hour block uninterrupted to take each quiz. Um, I, I've got study, quite, study guides for each, for each quiz. I'll show you where, where you can find those uh, study guides in just a second. But just be aware that everybody, um, when you start a quiz, you've got to finish it within two and a half hours. There's, there's no, no time to lose, no time to waste. But if you want to take a break, uh, to get uh, to uh, to get a to get a soda uh, to get a you know to, to get to, uh, to get a snack a frozen pizza or whatever or feed the dog feed feed the feed the cats uh, something like like that or or uh, or check check or check on check on your baby uh, definitely that, that that that's fine but again that that activity limited to no more than say five ten fifteen minutes maximum but get back to your quiz right right away you're going to have fifteen quizzes throughout the course of the semester. The average score of your best 13 was going to, is going to make up 15% uh, of, your, of your class grade. Um, so, so, if you, so if of the 15 quizzes, let's say, uh, let's say 13 of them, you had, uh, you had 85 and you had 80, uh, 85 and, and higher. Maybe your average was something like along the lines of say uh, 88 from those 13 quizzes. But then you had two quizzes where you really struggled. Maybe you scored a uh, 74 on one and a 66 on the other, those two quizzes get tossed out automatically in, uh, in the Blackboard Grade Center. So the two lowest quizzes get tossed out, even, and if you miss a quiz, um, that, uh, that would get tossed, tossed out too. So your best 13, the average score of your best 13, that's what's, get, that's what's going to get tabulated into the final grade at the end of the semester. All right, uh, final exam. The final exam is going to be comprehensive, but this is a case where you're going to write short answer, short essay, and uh, this will be due at the very end of, of the semester, right at the end of toward the end of finals week. So Saturday, I'm sorry, Sunday, December 13th. That's the due date for that. But I'm going to go to open up the final uh, within a couple of weeks. Uh, so by by about the third or fourth week of this semester, so that'll put us into about the second week of September. I'll open up the final for you. It's, uh, I'll give you all the questions ahead of time in PDF format. And then of all the questions which cover everything from chapters uh, 1 uh, uh, through, through, up, uh, through chapter, uh, chapter 15, um, that, that'll, be the, that'll be the domain, that'll be the, the province, uh, so to speak, of the final exam. So choose, uh, choose whatever questions you want to work on. What I would suggest is that once I give you the PDF copy of the final exam, as you're going through each readings, uh, think about which question you want to work on in that section in that in the period of, of readings that, that you're working on uh, that, that you're working on throughout the course of the semester this way you get you're a little bit ahead of the game you know, uh, uh, you have an idea of what you want to work on as you go through the semester so don't wait until Thanksgiving time beginning of December to say okay I've got to start figuring out which uh, questions I want to work on for the final if you do it that way you're going to have a bit of a tough time uh, and you're going to lose quite a bit of, uh, of precious time getting your ideas and the thoughts together so my suggestion is once I give you the PDF copy of the final exam, start thinking about which questions you want to work on, answer the questions as you go through the readings, and then when you get ready to take the final, when I open up the final on Blackboard, which will be after, after Thanksgiving, then just simply insert your answers into Blackboard. You see, the questions that you get on the PDF copy are the same that you'll see on, on, on Blackboard. So elect the quizzes where you don't know questions ahead of time. For the final, you do know them ahead of time, and so if you take that strategy of answering the questions as you go through the readings, then you'll be in much, uh, much greater shape uh, before, once the semester wraps up. So that's the final exam, and that thing is going to, is going to be worth 100 points total, and it'll be 20% of your class grade. Okay, class participation. Uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of this too, too much right now. I'll wait until we get in closer to the end of the semester to give you more details and more and another uh, preview video. But... This will make up 10% of your class grade, and what you do is you talk about three issues which I consider to be uh, important on economic, uh, social, 
uh, political level. And the three topics I have, I call them the big three. These are immigration, uh, the U.S. auto industry, which of course was a big topic with the, uh, with the economic crash and the whole bailout and the problems that GM and Chrysler had for to a lesser extent. And the third topic is popular music culture of the 1980s in terms of music videos. So the MTV generation. So I would say me and a lot of my colleagues who are from the 1980s, uh, like myself, uh, the Dr. Ferris, uh, Dr. Contreras, we definitely know that time frame in which uh, all those ads uh, with uh, like Sting and, and The Who, but uh, Cindy Lauper, I want my MTV, that type of thing. Um, well, we're going to have a, a discussion topic in which we look at 1980s music videos and talk about the themes, the ideas that are presented in each in in, uh, in these uh, in these topics. So you talk about these, uh, you choose uh, uh, you choose whatever angle you want to work on on each of these three topics. I'll have more information, of course, as we get toward the end, as we get toward the end of the second half of the semester. Uh, but um, in, in your discussion, as you discuss these three topics, over the totality of your comments, in which uh, uh, in which you you don't you not only talk choose uh, topics of your own choice in each of these three uh, three uh, uh, three uh, 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 subjects. But you also, but you also have to uh, reply to me. Uh, I'll, rep I'll reply to every everybody's comments. Uh, discuss the topics uh, amongst yourselves, uh, amongst everybody in the class. So, it's been a really good exercise. I really, I really enjoyed doing these uh, big three uh, topics for uh, going on about three, four years now. So, uh, it's something I enjoy very much. It's actually uh, one of my favorite parts of the class, getting to interact with everybody toward the end. So, we'll definitely keep this going. And uh, again, the, the totality of all this is worth. 10% of your class grade. Okay, uh, scrolling down uh, to finish off the syllabus, there is the schedule. Everything is listed there in terms of uh, what's happening on a weekly basis from uh, this week, August 17th to the 21st, all the way to the end of the semester, uh, December 7th through 11th. And then after the, the schedule, I have the course policies and grading structure. Information there about those of you, for those of you who need assistance and, and are going through uh, uh, DSP and NEST services, uh, please consult with me immediately if you, if uh, uh, if maybe if maybe uh, maybe you're in the category of uh, 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 that you need, need extra time for, for quizzes or maybe uh, he hearing impaired. Please let me know as soon as possible, and I'll definitely make sure that you have the proper accommodations to finish the class successfully. Course grading structure. That's the last thing on the syllabus. Um, this is what the breakdown of everything. So final exam from 20% to the podcast entries 10%. What I use for the class is something called the called the uh, uh, weight, weight, weighted total. What that means is this: when you add up, if uh, uh, don't add up all of your raw points in, in, in the class and think, oh, I've got uh, 976 points, that should give me a B, uh, or I've got 1,255 points, uh, that should give me an A. No, I use a weighted total. What that means is that I take the totality of what that item is worth. Multiply that by the percentage. So to give you give you an example, let's say in your podcast journal entries, your total uh, you score 90 points, an excellent total uh, in, in in your writing, in answering the 17 uh, 17 entries. Uh, that 90 points, I multiply that by 10 percent. So that gives you nine raw raw, raw points. Likewise, too, let's say we're, let's say with, with the uh, let's say with the final exam, let's say you also scored 90 points in the final. So 20, so 20% 20 times that, that gives you 18 points. So what happens is I take those sums, those, those totals, in which I multiply 10% uh, by 9, 20% uh, by, by, by 80, you get the idea. So the sum that I get for, uh, of that gives you a score within the 100-point scale. So it's what you get in, within that 100-point scale which gives you your, your total score or your, your total percentage for the uh, for the end of the uh, uh, for the end of the class. So uh, so for the most part, for those of you who your, your final scores end up in the range of say 87 uh, and, and, and above, that'll put you in in a, in a category. Likewise, those of you in scores uh, from say 77 to 86, that puts you in the B category and so forth. But you know, I'll talk a little bit more about how this unfolds when we get to the end of the semester. But keep in mind, everybody, my point is. Don't add up all your raw points. That will not tell you anything about your final grade. Multiply what you uh, what what you got for uh, uh, what you got for each item uh, by the percentage. And in terms of letter grade, generally my policy is uh, A's are 95, uh, A minus is 90, uh, 
B is a uh, um, uh, B is 85, that type of thing. So use use that uh, use that perspective when you're looking at the like looking at the, the letter grade uh, you multiply by, by the by the percentage. All right, so that's the syllabus, everybody. I know I'm already uh, pushing a uh, half hour on this, so let me let me wrap up uh, real quickly here and just go over all these other items uh, real quickly here. Okay, I'm in the assignment section, so let me just let's quickly take a quick peek in there. I'm not going to talk uh, talk about everything because I already did that in, in the uh, coverage of the syllabus here. Okay, and unfortunately, my uh, my connection is a little little bit slow right now. I don't know if this is coming from uh, from from Blackboard. Uh, from from the school or my Time Warner connection. Okay, all right. So uh, here is where the information is listed about all the assignments, uh, and I've also got assignment worksheets that are there in the blue hyperlink. Uh, make sure you download all the assignment worksheets because those give you all the detailed instructions for each item, whether it's the EBSCO assignment, the book review, the Ken Burns the Jazz assignment, and the big three discussion topics. And then later on, I'll put the PDF copy of the final in, in here. Uh, so all of this stuff is listed here in the assignment section and the quizzes too. the folder for the quizzes. Uh, you go into this section, too. So when you're ready to take the quiz, uh, any quiz, go into the assignment section, open up the quizzes folder and, and, and you're ready to go. You're, you're good to go, so to speak. All right. Course documents. Let me quickly tell you what's what's in here. All right, and any second now, this uh, second should open up. Okay, uh, quiz topics, you've got five folders in here. I'm sorry, uh, course documents, there are five folders. You've got PowerPoint programs in one folder, all the podcast study questions. So when you uh, listen to Professor Moss's podcast, uh, answer, answer uh, some of these study questions. You don't have to answer all of them, and some of them I say, choose five from the, of these, uh, choose five or six of these questions. Answer five or six, and then write that, and then and then write your write your entry based on that. So everything you need to know in terms of what to look for in the podcast, it's right here in the course document section. All the outlines for the quizzes are lo located in here as, as well. Uh, Henry Ford readings. This pertains to the uh, uh, to the uh, the big three topic on the auto industry. So wait until the end of the semester to get into that folder, and then the Ken Burns Jazz uh, study guides. Are located in here. So when we get when we start getting into a quiz for the fourth week of, of the semester, you're going to go into here and download all the uh, and, and take a look at all the study guides for each of the Ken Burns Jazz series. Okay, history podcast journals. This is the area in which you're going to uh, type in your type in your your entries. And let me quickly open that up in, uh, real quickly here. Okay, so I have to hit a couple of buttons in order to get into that into that section. Okay, so uh, so uh, w w when you go in here, uh, that tells you what what each entry is is all about, what the topic is from entry one to entry entry seventeen. I have the due dates there for each of the entries. So, so for example, entry one, Professor Moss's introduction to history. Your entry is is due on uh, on August twenty sixth. So that's uh, next. Uh, so that's next Wednesday. So Wednesdays are the due dates for all the podcast entries, except an, an entry two. Entry two is due on a Friday, Friday the twenty eighth. But everything else, the uh, uh, everything, everything else for the semester, whether it's entry one, uh, all the way through entry seventeen, those are Wednesdays. So always think of Wednesdays as a uh, podcast entry, uh, entry, ent entry due date. I wish I could think of something. Uh, a more clever, like say, uh, way back Wednesday or throwback Thursday. But until I think of something a little bit more catchy, uh, we'll, we'll just go, go with that. So again, but again, Wednesdays are due dates for for the uh, all your journal entries except for entry two, which is uh, due next Friday, the 28th, and that covers Professor Moss's uh, uh, topic, his podcast on reconstruction. So that's the podcast uh, journal uh, section, discussion forums. Let me quickly open that up. Okay, uh, there's not that many uh, many folders in here, not that many sections. So class introductions. Uh, if you haven't gone in to introduce yourself, please do so now. Go in there, tell us a little bit about who you are, your interests, your background, what you want, expect from the class, that type of thing. General form. This is basically like the virtual office hour. So any concerns or questions about the class that you uh, not only want to ask me about, but maybe uh, get feedback from the rest of the class, go into this area. It's called the general form, and, and general form is also where, where I'll post. Uh, things like grade rubrics, uh, additional study guides, additional notes. So basically, it's like the catch-all area for anything about the class that doesn't fit anywhere else. But again, 
you can use general form for any concerns or questions you have about the class. And the, and the rest of the forms are the big three forms. So immigration, <clears throat> auto industry, and the 1980s music video forms. Here's where you put your observations, your, your thoughts about each of these three topics. Okay, messages for professor, that's where I want you to contact me. So uh, from now on, you don't need to use my email and, and, and anymore uh, to reach me. Start getting into the habit of using messages for professor. Just find my name from the list of people in the class. Click a few buttons, push a few arrows, uh, write, write, your, uh, write your message, and then click submit. This is going to be the easiest way to reach me. So, uh, for, so for rapid response in terms of, uh, in terms of getting a hold of me, uh, use messages for professor. During the course of the semester, during the, the, the course of the, uh, uh, of, of the week, the, uh, the, the regular school, Monday through Friday, expect a reply within 24 hours. Weekends might be closer to 40 hours, but if you want a rapid reply within a timely manner, make sure you contact me during the week from Monday through, through Friday, Friday up till about maybe uh, uh, 12 noon, uh, two, 2 or 3 p.m. Because if you'd write to me Friday after uh, 3 p.m., uh, don't be surprised if you don't hear from me until maybe the following Monday. Uh, but for sure, uh, from Monday morning all the way up, up until about Friday afternoon, uh, 2, 3 p.m., uh, I, I can guarantee, or I can 99% guarantee that you'll get a, a reply from me. So again, message for Professor everybody, start using that instead of my email, external links and videos. Um, this is where you'll find a lot of the, uh, 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 a lot of the links to, uh, uh, infor maybe the, uh, Maybe the most important thing here is this is where you find information pertaining to the discussion topics, particularly the 1980s music videos and also the car commercials uh, from YouTube, which is part of the auto industry discussion. So I don't really need to say too much more about that. And the databases, that's where, you go, that's where you're going to go uh, for the uh, Grossman College uh, Library, the LRC, and get the databases uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of accessing the videos for the Ken Burns Jazz Assignment and also the, the uh, EBSCO database for writing your article reviews. And there you had everybody. Uh, I know this video ran pretty long, but uh, I try to make sure that I cover everything as detailed as possible. So sometimes these nuts and bolts videos do tend to run a quite, quite lengthy, but I feel this is necessary to, this way you know exactly what's, this way you know exactly what's going on. So for those of you who are more, shall we say, uh, auditory learners, that is, you'd like to uh, listen to, to, to things uh, in addition to, uh, to reading things, uh, that's, that's the main reason that I like to have these, these videos. So, uh, and, and with that, I think that pretty much covers everything for this video. So, uh, again, any questions, uh, please uh, let me know. Uh, check with me toward the end of the week. Let me give you the uh, podcast journal video of the Nuts and Bolts video about that coming up tomorrow. And, uh, and then... Uh, and then any, any other videos that, that feel necessary that, that, I'll, that I'll give, that, that I'll provide to you, I'll have uh, either coming up on Thursday or most likely on Friday at the end, end of the first week. All right, so uh, I know it's only the second day, but I hope everything's working out okay and uh, you're not having too much trouble finding out how the class works. Uh, but but like I said, like I said uh, yesterday, uh, I'm really looking forward, really happy to be with you guys this semester. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the class. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. So in the next few videos, will either be videos in which I, I recorded back in the spring semester or there'll be some newer ones. But you'll definitely see quite a bit of me as the uh, semester un unfolds. Okay, everybody, good luck for the, uh, for the rest of this first week. Hope everything's fine with respect to books, parking, getting your classes, all of that fun stuff. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon.